So the antonyms remember the opposite meaning. Now I get some new books here. Who ate the first oyster? It's actually a very interesting book. Uh, let me introduce you. It's about it's about the first. It's about who was the first of something. Its language is not so complicated, so I think you can you can handle it. Uh, not easy for sure, but you're not a beginner. So, so the who ate the first oyster? Now this is the oyster, oh. right? Just we we we've been watching it. Yeah. Yeah. And we we, we we don't know who ate the first oyster, but I will explain you whatever you don't understand. All right. So just. Uh, okay. It's going to be an experience, I'm sure about it. Yeah, let, let us Penguin it. Books. Yeah, Penguin Books is a, is a publisher. It's a big publisher uh, in, the, in the world. M many books come from them. So let's see the, the content. The content, what is the content? Oh, here's a timeline. You, timeline. So we started three oh. million years ago, you know? We started three million years ago with the first first invention. Where the hell is it? The first invention, it was three million years ago. And you know, three million years ago, a human was not like now. It's, you see, it's black. What means black line and, this, and gray line? What's the difference? Tell me. Hmm? Nothing different. Then Maybe we always ru running. No, read, read. There's an explanation. Where is it? On the top. I so make... where is it? So we see the timeline. Some part, most part of the black, and another part is is gray. So what the, what the black part means? Oh, pre-human. What does that mean? Remember, pre as a suffix means what? Previews, preordinary, prepare. Ah. Uh the first human no 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 pre what means pre as a suff as a prefix prefix what's mean pre previews prepare before next is the next previews oh. the, be the page or before something yeah pre so pre-human means before human is that mean is that before mean we are, human. it means human no, what was before human? I didn't... Before human is monkey. The monkeys. There's nothing between human and monkey. The monkey just one day bang changed to be a human. No. No, of course not. <laughs> so that was the pre-human. Okay, so it wasn't monkey already, but it was not a human yet. You got it. So what's the difference? Yeah, okay. What could be the difference? The monkey is not investing things. Monkey is not really talking. You know, monkey is not. So monkey is. So it was not. Okay. The difference is the gray one. Can you read that or it's too small? What the gray, gray said. It says first invention. No, no. Oh. Yeah. Anat anatomically. Anat anatomically. Modern. modern. Not, oh. not more modern because it sounds like more than. I'm more than 100 years old. Modern. 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 You know what modern is? Like something newish. Like not oldish. Oh, something new. So modern city. Beijing oh. is a modern city, but uh, pff, I don't know. Tibet is not a modern place. So, Homo sapiens. Homo. You, you know, we are Homo. Homo sapiens. We are Homo sapiens. That's a. That's our species, right? And oh. an, anatomically is what? What kind of word is a noun, verb, or adjective, or adverb? Just think about the end of the word. Like I ask you nicely to say, please. Huh? 
if it's a L Y at the end, it does make a word yeah. what? Nice is what? Nice is adjective, right? What is it like? It's nice. Huh? But nicely, what's the question for nicely? What is it nicely? No, right? What does it do nicely? No, it's not a verb, right? So what's the question for nicely or anatomically? What's the what's the question for? What's the question for nice? What is it like? It's nice. So what's the question for nicely? I, I, I ask you nicely. What's the question for the word nicely? Badly? No, no. Well, how, how? Listen, the same thing. Nice. What is it like? It's nice. nice. Nicely. What's the question? I don't know. I... How? How? <laughs> How? What? How I ask you? I ask you nicely. Right? How? Oh. Yeah. How I ask you? I ask you nicely. You know, what is it? It's, it's, it's nice, but nice is, is what is it like? You know, it's, it's, it's nicely. What is it? It's like mm, prettiness, you know? Anyway, anyways, anatomy is a human body, okay? How the human body looks like. Now, if I ask, if I say anatomically modern Homo sapiens, that means what? So anatomy is the science of human body, okay? So the gray is anatomically modern Homo sapiens, modern people, what that means. <laughs> Okay, so anatomy is the science of human body, okay? Anatomically means based on the body, you understand? Based on body, it's us. It looks like us. So it's same, same body. So it doesn't so say... us, it just body wise, like... Body wise, like us, like us, but the same body. Because the pre-human was not the same body, not the same type of body, you know? They were might be shorter, they were different. Okay? It doesn't say, like, intelligently or <laughs> otherwise, you know? It, say, it doesn't say they were smart as us, but they were anatomically were the same. Anatomically, how? They were modern homo sapiens. You understand? So the gray one is the, the time when people already looked like us, okay? Because the pre-human before, they didn't look like us. So as you see, uh, most of the time, there was not many inventions. There was the first invention three million years ago when people really looked like human. Uh, let me check it out. But... Uh, Okay, we don't need this. But uh, even a million years ago, I think that's how the first uh, humanoid, human humanoid things went to uh, went to Africa, uh, Asia. You know the Beijing man, Beijing Ren, Peking Ren. They found some teeth. Mm -hmm. Now that was like yeah. that was like a million years old. You know that was that was a pre-human. It was not a human. It was a pre-human because uh, it, sure? yes i'm sure because it's anatomically was not the same it was an intelligent thing it was not a monkey it was a pre-human oh you understand it was not a monkey but it was not a human anatomically anatomically it was some sort of humanoid humanoid but not human humanoid you know it's like uh means like uh similar some the same class or something you know but it's not it's still not the same so okay we have a youtube uh, what to search uh, let me see uh, oh gosh why i cannot click there what's going on aha uh -huh. all right uh, uh homo erectus that was actually the beijing ren oops so this is how it looks like okay as you can see it's anatomically different <laughs> The f is that the first upright man? You understand? The first upright man? What could be that? 
what is that upright think about it upright left right we go left right we go right hmm? upright like the one who's straight up you know straight up monkeys not right monkeys mm -hmm. monkeys still uh using four legs basically and sometimes stood up actually homo erectus mean erect you see the name homo erectus here Uh, change the color so homo erectus erectus means to to something straight up okay so he was mm -hmm. it was the first pre-human which walked on two legs so it was a biped remember bi means two bicycle 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 you got it bicycle bi yeah. means two and this biped animals means walking on two can you say a biped animal quickly biped animal yeah uh kangaroo right kangaroo. oh yeah shoot kangaroo's not using that tiny little hands on, on it no 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 kangaroo is a biped animal well, sometimes they are for oh the, the tail yeah they use the tail yeah okay the tail yeah 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 but see, see, monkeys are not biped animals. They're still using their arms to walk on that. See, and they see they already were hunting because you see the the tool in his hand. And uh, oh yeah, and uh, and also important to know, Homo habilis habit. Remember the word habit. What's your habits? You have some habits. You like to draw, you like paint, you like to sing, that's your habits. Now its name was Homo habilis. What do you think what that means? It's Latin, but you can figure it out. It means mm -hmm. habit is a skill, right? If you have habits, you have a skill. Remember skill? You can do something well. Do you have a skill, Vivian? You do. You can draw well, right? Yeah, I do yes so that's a, that's a skill that's a skill and skill is kind of like a habit right because you do it habitually how again remember adverb how you do it habitually can you say the word habitually say it habitually how was it just a sentence okay listen the word is habit right habitually habitually yeah like something you do the way you do habits <laughs> habitually you got it in the chat do you have the translate you know you can translate it. <laughs> all right now habilis homo habilis meaning mm -hmm. human who was skilled who could do something well it has habits all right so that was like mm -hmm. uh, so we talked about pre-human i just write pre-human and then again we got the same you see see earth 300 000 years ago it was quite different each of now. us likely has their own ideas and interpretations of what the world might have can you read that oh wait 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 each of us likely has their own ideas and interpretations. No, please read it. Each of us likely have their own ideas and interpretations. Now, what that means? Remember a translator, the guy who, you know, help you to understand. Also, there's another word for that: interpreter. So means how do you understand things to make you understand things basically that's the interpreter. So we have their own idea and interpretations like it's almost the same thing. It's almost the same thing of what the world might have looked like at the dawn of humanity. What is that? At? Read it, read it, read it might have looked like at a town of humanity humanity what that means what <laughs> what what is the down dust you down 
what is down? No, it's it's not it's not the same spelling. It's D O W N. Oh. It's not down. It's down. <laughs> I know it's the same. Check it out in the in the Sunrise? chat. Check out in the chat. It's in the morning, you know, and a down when something starts. I know it's sunrise. Huh? Yeah, I know it sounds meaning. Yeah, down of humanity, you know. Yay! We <laughs> when when the humans hum appeared. When human just started to be, that exist. But some of them might look a bit like this. Dramatic landscapes. landscapes. Mostly void of... What is a landscape? This is what you actually see now. That's a landscape, right? Of human structures. Gra no human structures. Now what means structure? Remember structure? Hmm? Remember the structure means what? Hmm? What means structure? Great. No, something you, something you build, <laughs> something you build. A pyramid, you know, a pyramid in in Egypt or something. It's a structure, but that time void of human. A void means what? A void is. I don't know. A void is not to have something, right? And void means not having something. So there's no human structures that time. Just only landscapes, right? No buildings, nothing. Great beasts that roam the wild. Great beast? What a beast is? Like this guy? Yeah, he's a beast. Nomadic bands of early humans settling down across the globe. Now this is not the Beijing Ren. The Beijing Ren did not have a clothes, I think. This was, in Earth. fact, the reality. They, they it was a sight to behold. Excuse me? They cannot make fire. Yeah, but they could actually they could uh, use they, the fire. They could use the fire. I think they just couldn't make fire. Yeah, they can use. They cannot make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they found it in the nature. How do you find it in the nature? How do you find fire in the nature? By lightning or maybe the mountain fire. Yeah, or the sunshine. You know, using. Uh, I mean, not using, but the sunshine going through a little uh, dew drop. You know, a little water in the morning. Oh uh, yeah. The grass is dry. Yeah, that's yeah, also yeah. possibly. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. Or even a volcano erupts, right? And the fireballs flying around, and they go there and they put something uh, wood oh, into the lava. Mm -hmm. Somehow. Old, wherever you were in the world. Maybe somehow, As maybe in that time we had volcanoes in Beijing. Could be. But now? No, I mean, it's not far. It's in Japan, you know? I mean, you know, there's a cracks on the Earth, you know? Earth is, has a plates, you know, the plates. Yeah, I and know. I think the next crack is between China and Japan under the sea. And, uh, of course, 200,000 years ago, the, the, the word was a little bit in a different place. But the sea level was very different, too. Homo sapiens began to spread out across. What do you say? Read it, read it. As Homo sapiens began to spread up across. Across the world. You know, we are the Homo sapiens. That's how, across the world. That's how we called us. We are across the world, towards the end of the Pleistocene epoch, the world was in the clutches of the Ice Age. Oh, the end of the Ice Age. A time synonymous oh, with frigid I temperatures. Think. Frigid temperature. Remember, refrigerator, frigid temperatures. It's really freezing. Megafaunal animals, and what the general public typically perceive as at a general overview. Of See mammoth. When the stakes are high at work, your tone matters. Grammarly's advanced uh, tone suggestions can help because faunal herbivores to chew on. But we'll meet those. These are herbivores. Remember herbivores and carnivores and omnivores? Herb means plants, mm -hmm. right? Herb, herbal tea, herbs. So can you tell me a herbivorous animal? Mm. The mammoth was herbivores. Uh, yeah. A cow, a rabbit, the herbivores. And how about a tiger? Is it herbivores? Huh? 
A tiger. Maybe they um no. Do you know what's there? Carn means Everybody flesh. Knows. Carn carnivores. Say the word carnivores. Oh yeah, carn. And we carnivores. are. Are we are herbivores or carnivores? Well, we are both. That's omni. Both everything means omni. We are omnivores. Like God is omnipotent. It has a potential of for everything. Omnipotent. Can you say the word omnipotent? Because omni is a prefix for means all. You understand? Yeah, I understand. So we are omni. Omnipotent. Those later. The birch forest is the Neanderthals. Oh, is it? And Homo Denisova. The well, these are these are really close to our species, but it's still not us actually. But we have the their genes. This is a Neanderthal. We have their genes. You know, the DNA, we have some of them. And the Asian people, apparently, or surprisingly, have more in their DNA than in us. Because, for example, an African people, you know, black people, has nothing from these people. They never mixed, you know? They never mixed with these people. These people were in Europe, in Asia, for way before the homo sapiens came out from africa so they were already there but those who did not come out from africa they never mixed with them neanderthals in particular there's a noun they're tall arrived on the mammoth step they were talking they were making with settled in caves yes they lived in caves they had no ability to build houses or tents or huts or anything you know so that's uh or themselves DNA and beef pretty much. Let's see the DNA, they talk about the DNA, names. the first horses. Of the species Rome Fanos. Ah, this, this, these animals are very different. Oh, you see? Town of Chersky in Russia's Saka yeah. Republic. This is, where, this is where they found them. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me go back to the. Let me share the screen. Okay, where's the book? Oh, the book was here actually. No, I'm sorry. Uh, book was here. Oh, here's the timeline. See, the controlling the fire means not to making the fire, but control the fire was two million years ago. Controlling the fire means they found fire and they can feed it with uh, with, with with tree or uh, wood and something. And see, three hundred years ago was the first anatomically modern homo sapiens now you understand that the first people who looked like us and then mm -hmm. about 160,000 years ago was the around the time when they eat first oyster first clothing you know 100,000 years ago before that they were they were only uh, using maybe animal fur you see the first bow 60,000 years ago the first bow and then uh, the last Neanderthal, 40,000 years ago, died out somewhere in Spain. First masterpiece, and then the next 20,000 years is lays here. 16,000 years, 16, years ago. What happened 16,000 years ago? What happened 16,000 years ago? Come on, Vivian. Wasting time. Wasting what? You don't see what I see? What happened 15, 16,000? That was just a line. What? What's wrong with you? What? First food on the Americas. Why didn't you read for like one minute? And what happened 15,000 years ago? How can they get get to America? Because that time there was no sea between Asia and uh, and Americas. You know, that time it was uh, oh. a land bridge. Uh, okay, uh, oh, a long time ago. It was sixteen thousand years ago because it was not the ice ice age was not uh, over. 
Land bridge. Oh, so they have eyes on on the ocean. Actually, it wasn't even clouds. It was uh, totally uh, a land. But they didn't know they go to America. They didn't even know they're going to a new continent. They were just following the animals, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm searching land bridge between Alaska and Russia. Okay, you see, there's already had the suggestions. And. Uh, Russians have landed, no, not Russians, but this, uh, no, U.S. to Russia on foot, no. Ah, here. Because the sea is not so deep there, okay, you see? You see, there's no sea between them. Now, the great, the green one is gone. The green one was a land, but by the time, it, it disappeared. Oh. You see, it's shrinking. As the sea level was arise, you see the land is shrinking, and there's not now there is a gap. You can't go through. But that time at the beginning, as you will see again, now this is this is the present time. Post classical flooding. Remember, uh, I explained you what means pre. You know pre. Uh, mm -hmm. So what means post? Pre, previous, pre, prefer means before. What means post? Here's pre post. No, no pre post. Or last. No, we say post glacial, gl glacier, glacier is like ice, icy. Before, before, after, after. Something? After, after, yes, post, like postponed, like uh, we we make something later or. Or uh, to, to to post something to to people get see later and flood. Remember flooding that the water is too high. So it's it's the land land bridge. You see, this is Russia, is Asia here on the right, and on on the left, and the right this is Alaska. And you see, this is a really wide land. So they just got into Asia, and by the time it's the it's 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 got shrinked and 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 totally disappeared, as the as the sea level was arised, simply like that, simply because of that. So that's how they got into uh, to America, and they started from the north and they went lower and lower south. It took a long time to go down. Actually, it's uh, let me open another one. What? Uh, Uh, whatever okay uh so they they went into uh, uh america and then what's mean first brew beer was brewed they make the first beer before actually were planting plants so they, they couldn't make bread but they already knew how to make uh, beer which was actually uh, one of the reason they stopped hunting in this day you see eight thousand five years ago came, what happened can no longer walk across English Channel. Why? No. Uh, the ice melted. Ice melted. The sea rose. Rose. Yeah. The sea rose. Sea rose up, and there was uh, there was a sea between France and present day France and England. Yeah. So no longer people mm -hmm. people got there eight thousand years ago, and they, they stayed there. Yeah, and the first surgery. What is a surgery? What is a surgery? Who is the surgeon? Huh? Uh, I don't know. What's surgery? Surgery is when you when you get insult. You uh, you're uh, you got hurt. You got uh, mm -hmm. you got an injury. Okay. You got an injury, and then you did surgery. Like you break your legs or something. No. That was 7,000 years ago. And actually started with the legs. So it means people carry each other. And the first horse ride, see? First wheel. First murder mystery. What does that mean? First murder mystery. What's that? Come on. Move. Go, 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 go. Think loudly, or don't think, or if you don't know, just say it. Don't just be quiet, Vivian. It kills me. What's murder mystery? 
Which word you don't understand? Murder. What is murder? Just say it if you don't understand something. Not just well, look at it. What is murder? Yeah, what's... I know what's murder. There's something... Yeah, yeah. Killing someone somebody. Kill someone? Okay, yes, okay. Mystery is what? Something... Something we don't know. Mystery. Something we don't know. Something we don't know, yeah. Yeah, so it's a first murder mystery. Some murder happened and we still don't know why it happened. That was actually the so guy. What mystery mean? Mystery? Like a a question we don't know. No answer for that. Uh -huh. Like some people think is the same for the pyramids. Like a pyramid is a mystery. Who built it? You know? How they could build it, you know? It's not that big mystery. Oh. But but this murder oh. was a mystery because they, they found a the guy, Utzi, in the Austrian Alps. And uh, he, he died there, but we don't know why and who killed it. You know, who killed him. And uh, first... Did you say men killed him? I don't know. We got uh, somebody shoot How arrows. They found... I don't know. First name we know, first soap. A bird, King Tut, is some uh, Egyptian uh, pharaoh. Smallpox, it's a disease. A first known joke 4,000 years ago. And the first food in Hawaii. That's very interesting, actually, the Hawaii things. Because the, the sailors who went to Hawaii, they were very smart people. Because Hawaii is in the middle of the ocean. You know? A thousand years ago, you don't jump on a boat with your family like, okay, let's go find another island. Because you will die in the middle of the ocean. So you must know that you are actually looking for something and you must know how to find it. Let me go there. Yeah, let, me, let me go there. It's, you know, they understood the, the, they understood the, the, the streams of the, of the ocean, the stars and, and a lot of things here, here, here. Now I'm gonna just a little bit. Okay. Who discovered, uh, Hawaii. Yeah, a thousand years. Who ago. discovered Hawaii? You see how is where is Hawaii? <laughs> so far from Asia, so far from America, so far from Australia. It's in the middle of nowhere. You know. And and yes, indeed, there is a lot of islands here. So it you don't start from there. You know, you start from some from for here. Go to islands to islands for hundreds of years, thousands of years. But to reach Hawaii, it was still a very brave act okay here's some difficult words but i will explain you go on come on what are you looking at from one pers perspective yeah all right the yeah, from of one view, from one view, perspective, from one view. Perspective. Mm -hmm. The out of Africa history of modern. Modern, modern. Home, modern Homo sapiens is one of global expressions and exploration. Okay, stop for a moment. What means X? It's a prefix, right? What means X? more nah that's extra oh exit so explain x out explode out out <laughs> more out expansion mean make it bigger something expanding explore is to find more for find, find things out of your knowledge you know, when you explore land, means you find a place which is out of the the known places. So X means out, exit, getting out. So expansion is means growing the area and exploration to finding new areas. Go on. Continue. It began. You have to know these words, Viviana. Uh, uh, Aparox. 
approximately. Approx. Am I right? No, it's a x. A proxy. A proxy. So tell you the word. A approximately. Which means what? I don't know. Write down. Write down all these words. It's, it's you need to know. Approximately means around. You're not sure when or how much. You say approximately. And you should write down also perspective and expansion. These are these are these words you should already know. Perspective is the the, the where you where you look for something. Where you look something from. So approximately, how, how, you're not sure about, you know, we need to finish uh, the class approximately uh, eight o'clock, you know, maybe eight ten. You understand? I'm not sure exactly the time. So I say we need to finish approximately eight ten, eight fifteen. You got it? You understand, right? Okay. Yeah, I got it. So approximately, it began this expansion and exploration. It began. Say again. Go on, go on, go on. Come on. Read it. Fifty-five. Uh, let's begin. <laughs> I have to say that again. It's up up to you, girl. But just say something. <laughs> okay, fifty-five thousand years ago, or more than eight. 000. Not modern. Not modern. What? Remember, not modern, because it sounds like you say modern. Oh. Modern. 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 Not modern. 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 Homo sapiens. Oh, that, okay. Homo sapiens. First force from Africa across the Sinai Peninsula. What is the peninsula? I don't know what peninsula. You know, Italy is, looks like this, like a boot, right? No, I don't know. No, Italy. Where's this... Italy? Uh, come on, Italy, Italy. And also Spain is looks like this. So this is Spain and this is Italy. They are peninsula because you see here, here is narrow. Here is narrow, but this is long. Like Korea is also a peninsula. It looks like, look like this. Oh, I know that. Japan is, an, is not a peninsula. Japan is what? Or Taiwan. They are, they are what? Come on, faster. What is Japan? Is it a peninsula? Japan? No. No, it's an island. It's an island, yes. So peninsula is almost like an island because it's just, just a tiny bit, but see? Uh, Florida is also like this. Florida is also a peninsula in America. And Sinai Peninsula. So that's how they left Africa, you know, and went to the Middle East. Spread. Spreading, you know, going around. In a diaspora with people across Europe and Asia. And some went migrating, you know, immigration, emigration. Some moved through Europe. And even made to England, you know, using a land bridge. Okay. But some group went south. They went to through India, Southeast Asia. Yeah, in India. <laughs> in Indonesia and Java and Bali. Yeah. Until they went Borneo down to Australia now they're they were uh, went to see Wallace line I'm not sure where's the Wallace line but you can using uh, boats and they don't start to move to east they traveled across Asia and populated Japan by 40,000 years ago did you know that in Japan people live already 40,000 years ago I guess that's why the Japanese look different than Chinese by anatomically or by face, right? Because that's a long time, 40,000 years, it's ch face changes, you know? And, 
and one's beyond America, and then blah blah blah. But to go to uh, is Vanuatu also the next island. It's it's a bit more further east from Australia, but they're still far from. And they come discovered Fiji and Polynesia, Tonga, these islands in the Pacific Ocean. Mm -hmm. But see, can you read this here yet? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Yet by one, one point two hundred years ago, the po the Polynesian culture overcame this incredible sectors of no open no 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 ocean. no 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 S T R like street, not sectors. Street stretches. Stretches. Street is double E, right? This is just one E. Stretches. What means what? Stretch. What means stretch? You, uh, you stretch your clothes. You know, it's going to be big. Right now, stretch. It's a simple per. This is pure. Stretch. stretch. To stretch something. Incredible stretches. Go open ocean. You know, the Polynesian culture, these people from Polynesia, they overcome these incredible stretches on the ocean. Did you write down stretch? It's a verb. Mm -hmm. But stretches mm -hmm. is not a verb. Stretches is a noun. Because the, 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 the area which they reached, which they got there, yes. See, they sailing, you know, sailboats, sailing. They discovered Cook Islands and New Zealand and uh, to the east, Tahiti. But Hawaii mm -hmm. is the world most isolated. Isolated means far from everything, you know. It's is a, a vast stretch of nothing. You know, Hawaii is a volcanic island, you know. So there was no islands there, but the volcanoes made islands. Uh, so yeah. they, they find something. The discovery of Hawaii was no accident. That's strange. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. If Hawaii was to discover Hawaii was no accident, means that they knew there is something there? Yeah. Let's see on what the YouTube says about it. Wow. I mean, YouTube said everything. Discovery Hawaii. That was you too. Oh, the heart of Sao Hawaii. No, amazing uh, stories from Hawaii. Somewhere on Earth, Hawaii free documentary. Discovering Hawaii. No, no, it's some travel. What the pre-American Hawaii looked like. Mm. What? This is scientists terrifying new discovery under the Sahara Desert. What did they find under the Sahara, Sahara Desert? No, uh. We need to say first discovery of Hawaii. Animation, all right, this is... Before we were using Monday.com, our team was drowning in work. Our days used to split between work... Hawaii is the 50th and most recent state to have joined... You see, here's the islands, they say. This is the Hawaii Islands, see? ...the United States, having received statehood on August 21st, 1959. Hawaii is the only U.S. state located in Oceania. The name of Hawaii is that it was named after Hawaii Loa. Ah, uh, this is not how to find Hawaii. This is about Americans, how they found Hawaii. Because <laughs> uh, now you know Hawaii is part of America. Do you know that? Hmm? Ah, uh, here. Here's this one. Can you read this? The first man to, to cross the ocean setting sail timeline. Yeah. To most people. That's what we, are, we were talking about now. Much of the planet is covered by oceans. To most Can you read it? Come on, read everything you see, Vivian, and raise the camera. I need to see your mouth so that you pronounce well. No, you can go close. Just change the camera angle. Yeah. So read it, read it. Much of the planet is covered by oceans to most. Most people 
they were a barrier. People, they were a barrier. What is a barrier? <laughs> it's something like you can't go across, uh, like a wall or a mm -hmm. huge mountain, you know? It's a barrier for you. And the big ocean was a barrier for, for oh, most yeah. people. But there was one small group of people. Read, read it quickly. Oh, I don't read it. <laughs> to most people, they were a barrier, but they were, there was one small group of people. Who conquered them long before anyone else. Who con conquered them along. What? Conquered? Yeah. Them along before anyone else. What is a concurred? It's like not like discovery. Discovery is to find something. Concurred is find and take. You know? Like the Spanish concurred South America. They mm -hmm. were the first blue water sailors. What is saying? They were the first blue water sailors. Okay, we called blue water is the open ocean, the sea, you know? White water is the mm -hmm. lakes and rivers. The blue water is the big open ocean. And this is their story. And this is a 50 minutes uh, story. So. Stretching oh, from Hawaii to New You see, here's the Eastern Islands. It's very, very far away too. But see, most of the islands they mentioned in the book is down here. And Hawaii, see, is the middle of the ocean. New Zealand to Easter Island. Mm -hmm. Combined first to reach all of them, wherever house from New Zealand had more than 200 years, they're now at the here was arrived at least 40,000 years ago. So this is the most, uh, this, these islands are close to the Asia, that's where it arrived 40,000 years ago. Because of the ice age, sea levels were lower than they No. Go on. Because of the ice and sea levels were lower than they are now. Creating land bridges that link. Come on, read it, read it continuously, Vivian. Lower than they know now, creating land bridges. Lower than now, creating land bridges. New Guinea and Australia. So but between New Guinea, New Guinea and Australia could go walk. But getting to that large landmass still involved the crossing of several sea channels. Large land the what? Landmass still sea channels. These islands saw the birth of seafaring at a time not usually associated with seafaring capabilities. The old days of having an offshore account for money management is over. Now with Builderling, it's Lighter scan stories. People who made the pottery, how did they export lines? The marrying them. Ah, yeah, these, uh, these are people Polynesian people. You're reaction. Right. Repeat the pottery. People living in the mm, No. You see, they are actually very dark skinned because they're they're the ancestor. Their ancestors were Africans, you know, from Africa. But this is a, some new theory, mm -hmm. you know, like they they're black because they are directly come from Africa 50,000 years ago, 60,000 years ago, or, or maybe 100,000 years ago. But why are we white, the Caucasian people and the Asian? Because these people never mixed with those uh, Neanderthals, remember the, 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 the pictures we watched, those white-skinned uh, pre-human? Oh, actually, they were not pre-human, they were human. But they never mixed. These people directly came from Africa, and they never mixed with the people with the north, on the north, you know? In the areas of find the similarity across the sea. I want to jump to some significant point. Ninth century. Mm -hmm. Humans in and on islands along the way. They actually tried to Eva. Uh, the rest of the from the Eastern Islands. Islands. You know those faces on Stand the Eastern Islands? The Rapa Nui culture. Mm -hmm. Rapa Nui culture, yeah. Polyne we don't know yes. why they build those faces. Technic experiment. 
But the interesting thing is, and about, I can from this book we learned that these people actually uh, knew uh, they knew astronomy. You know, they understand the the stars. The sky, mm, yeah. the sky was them for like a map. You know, so they see mm. they understood. They understand this. They understood the sky. Yeah. Uh, I love this movie, uh, this book. Mm. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna show this all the way now. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, okay. Opening something else. Learn how to English. You remember this magazine? No. Uh, the I British, forgot. The Brit <laughs> what you did not forget. <laughs> so this one is the the English magazine. This one. Learn hot English. You probably remember Shrek and all those stuff. Mm, I forgot all of them. Yeah. Wow. Look oh, at that sandwich. Now I remember. Yeah, we can make some uh, some dialogues here. Dale. Dialogues. Uh, this is a dialogue. Let's be friends on Facebook. It's a British. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Office problems. Listening. Oh, we don't have the CD. Oh, English audience soup. Oh, I like French onion soup very much, but uh, this looks good too. This is actually very similar to the French onion soup. You know, what's the secret of the good onion soup? That you made the onions caramel caramelized. You know what means caramelized? Caramel, you know caramel? Caramel? Mm -hmm. check, the, check the chat. Jiao Tang, Jiao Tang, right? Yeah. Now, caramelize means to make it uh, taste like caramel. So if you if you cook the onion for a long time on a low low heat, you know, from white it's mm -hmm. gonna it's gonna turn to black, dark brown, not black because it's burned, just brown, and then it's very delicious, sweet. And that's how you make the soup. Do you like caramel? Caramelized? It takes out of the sugar out of something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right, let, let's read that. Why not? Okay. How to make a English onion soup. What do you need? Uh, 60 gram of butter. Ingredients. Oh, okay. You start with the word ingredients. ingredients. Classic French soap. What? A la onion. Is, I think it's French. <laughs> <laughs> Means onion soup. Soupa, soupa, l'onion. I don't speak French, but it sounds like that. Well, what's next? Uh, but have you tried the English version? Mm. Go on. Hmm. Okay, ingredients. 60 gram, grams of butter, 1.5 kilos of peeled and Pe sliced onions. Not peeled, peeled, peeled. So you peel the peeled. onion and you cut slices, yes. What means slices? It means you chop it into very small pieces? Hmm? You think? No, look at the picture. See, it's not chopped into very small pieces. It's slices. You just cut slices. <laughs> you don't make it... You don't that's, dice it. that's onion. I don't yeah. know if that's onion. I think... It's a red onion. It's a red onion. You can buy in Beijing red onion. Not purple, it's not. No, yeah, we can buy one. It looks like 
it looks like another another colors in Chinese. Uh, maybe a, no, no, not the purple one. There, you can also have this one. There's two no, one I know that not the purple one. I know that not uh, another kind, another vegetable, not I, onion. I don't know. You have this. Very different kinds. Okay. Ah, uh, I see that. All right. Okay. Sure. So we need we need to slice the onion. Slice the onion. Yeah. Oh, then. Come on. Oh, radish. Okay. Four point five. No, four point five. Garlic. No, four point five. Four to five. Four to five. Yes. Four to uh, five. Yeah, four to five. Quicker, quicker. Four to five chopped garlics. Cloves? Yeah, the garlic has a cloves, you know, those pieces in the garlic is the cloves. One day leaf. This is the bay leaf here. Mm -hmm. That's the bay leaf, okay. And? A few springs, fresh. Springs, fresh thyme. thyme? This is the thyme, yes. I'm uh, 150 milliliter. Mo milliliter. Milliliter. Um, milliliter. Milliliter. Cider. What's it mean? Cider, like uh, apple cider. cider. Similar to vinegar. Mm -hmm. And chicken stock. You know what's a chicken stock? This is the chicken stock. But you, you cook chicken in the water for a long time, but you take the chicken out. So it's just the smell. Oh. You know, it's no no chicken in it, just just the flavor of the chicken. People used to cook. I never did that, but, <laughs> but it's very delicious. You know, it makes it much more delicious. You cook the chicken for a long, long time on a slow heat, you know, for hours. And then the water, the soup will have this very strong taste of chicken. All right, go on. Uh, 12 to 18. Sage. Sadly. Sage leaves. These are the sage leaves. Sorry, this was the, this was the bay leaf. <laughs> because it's just one, one bay leaf. But this is leaves, right? Okay. Next one. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We don't have all the time. For sliced bread, post. Toasted. Toasted. So, what's the bread for? These pieces. I don't, I, I don't know the bread and toast. Here. What's you cut the pieces. You cut pieces. You toast bread. You toast yeah, bread. Yeah, I know. You put it in a grill or something. Yeah, I know. What do you don't know? What's the difference between toast and bread? No, that's no toast is the way you cook the bread. What? You toast the oh. bread. Oh. The bread is normal. Oh, we toast the bread. Toast, toast. Which, oh, if you just okay. say toast. Toast means it's a bread which toasted. See, it's toasted. It's in the past. Boiled, toasted, you know, you can write down toast. Toast is, we just say, this is toast. You don't need to say it's a toasted bread. You just say toast. You know, you just say toast. Toast bread or toast is the same. But it's a toasted bread. And then... Come on. Mm -hmm. What's grated cheese mean? This is grated cheese to grate something. Oh. Uh, it's a it's a preparation in, in kitchen. 
salt and pepper. Too great. See the chat? It's not great like Green. something big. It's too great. Sh 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 you know, with the metal things. You have the metal things. So yeah, it will look like mm -hmm. look like this. See, it's the cheese on the top. And it melts in it. And then salt and pepper. Okay, read this thing, please. And, and tell me when you don't understand a word, all right? <laughs> quickly, quickly, quickly. You're always so slow. Preparation, to prepare. Pre, remember? Before you cooked. What do you do? Preparation. All right, go on. Melt the butter in a big pot over medium low heat. Add the onions and saute. Saute. Saute slowly. What means, what and means saute? Sauce. You don't know what saute means. I told you to stop when you. What is it? To fry quickly in a little oil. Yeah, yeah. You know, Chinese huh? used to do that. Fry quickly in a little oil. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Until soft, tender, and browned. About 15, five minutes. Oh, That's not quickly. It's <laughs> a so fry quickly. <laughs> oh, it's soft. Yeah, but I think they mean uh, you fry it first in a little oil for, for quickly, but then you make the heat very low and you just, mm -hmm. you just make it until brown, you know, and it takes... I don't think it's 45 mm -hmm. minutes actually. It takes like maybe 15, 20 minutes. It's gonna be nice brown. 45 minutes, oh my goodness. And add the garlic. Come on. Okay, add, add the garlic, bay and rind leaves. Yeah. And cook for five minutes. Then add a sear and simmer. Simmers to cook slowly, lower, low, oh, low heat. Low heat, yes. And simmer for about three minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then remove the herbs. Remove the heat. Stock. Remove the heat, right? Heat. Mm -hmm. No herbs, herbs, herbs. What's it? which one are the herbs? Herbs. Yeah, I know it's. Sorry, which yeah, one? Yeah, I know it's herbs. Which one are herbs? Okay, which one is herbs? Well, the leaves. Oh. The leaves. The leaves. Yeah, these are the herbs. Okay, so remove the herbs because you don't want to eat it. It just gives the flavor, right? <laughs> All right, so you leave the herbs and... And add the stock and simmer for 12 minutes. What does simmer Season mean? The what does simmer for 20 minutes? I don't Oh, simmer is to cook slowly over the whole low heat. Yeah, yeah. Because if it's too fast, the water will go out, right? Will evaporate. You don't want the water evaporate. You don't make a stew. You make a soup. So you were very slowly and you covered it. So the water will stay in. You season it. Season. <laughs> season with salt and pepper to taste oh what does season mean season is like ch -ch 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 -ch. put something on her salt and pepper ch or, or some flour uh, or not flour sorry uh, uh red pepper you know lajo powder mm -hmm. the seasoning is give a flavor you know it's not really food it's not food mm -hmm. it's just for the taste yeah. Go on. Go on. Pepper to taste. Put a soup into a heat proof. What is a heat proof? Box. What means a heat proof? I don't know. Let's see. Quicker. You're so slow. Oh, Jesus. Heat proof. Bulletproof means it cannot go through. Heat cannot go through. Because it's oh. proof. You know, like some kind of bowl which is not burn your hand. Go on. Go on. Top each serving with a slice of toast and sprinkle the cheese on top. 
grow in the oven until the cheese is melted and bubbly. So, so, you have to, is... so you after you cook it, you put it into the oven to so make the cheese melts. Actually, I don't think it's necessary because you already toast the bread, right? And you put the cheese in a very hot soup. The cheese is going to melt, you know? You don't need to put it into the oven <coughs> for extra. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, oh. Ah, this is a... Uh, this is a, uh, you know what means uh, formal, relaxed and informal? Formal means like something very elegant, like business talk, you know? And a relaxed is like an easy, easy talking. But informal is like a very, very simple talking, you know? For example, uh, here's a situation. What's the situation is? First situation. All right. Uh, let's forget the first one, all right? Go with the second one. What's the situation here? Tell me. A friend appears to be nervous and anxious. You ask why? Anxious, anxious, like nervous. And how do you ask? You can ask formal mm -hmm. way, relaxed way, and informal way. So if you want to be really... Informal. Formal. That's it. Informal. All right. So... Okay. Why are you in such a state of... Agitation. agitation you know state state is like in 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 a, in a uh, hmm, the way you behave like i'm in a state of uh um, changing you know because it's just changing from beijing to uh back to you you know like a different life now in agitation but in relax is like saying your friend saying come on Why don't you read it, Vivian? Okay, what are you so worried about? Yeah, that's a relax, relax. Oh. What are you so worried about? But informal mm -hmm. is. Why are you so uptight about? Oh, uh, what's uptight mean? Uptight is the same, means the same thing. It's just uptight, tight, something tight. Mm -hmm. you know? Tight, not relaxed, you tight because you're nervous. You know, loose and tight. Mm -hmm. Loose. And tight, you know, something loose and tight, like a belt is very tight, ah, hard to move, you know, you're very uptight. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, let's read this one. You fair at unfounded. There's no need to be fair. Stop being such a wimp. Why? Such wimp. a wimp. Yeah. Why? Because? What wimp mean? Just, you understand. Read the situation. You will understand. Yeah, I know this. So... Yeah, I know he is going to talk to snake. Yeah. He's right. So who can be the wimp? Say, don't be such a afraid. Don't, don't need to be afraid. So who could be the wimp then? Yeah, I know. Who could be the wimp? If, if, a wimp is a... It's somebody who easily afraid. Is so much afraid of everything, you know? Obviously. That's a wimp. You see? No. Your fears are unfounded. Like, no need to be afraid. There's no need to be afraid. And a wimp, don't be. Stop being. Don't be a wimp. That means don't be somebody who mm -hmm. are very afraid of things, you know? Are you a wimp? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you afraid of everything? No, I'm not a wimp. Okay, good. You can write down these words, man. You better learn it. Hmm. Fear is to be afraid. Fear is the noun to be afraid. I'm afraid. What is afraid? A noun or, or a verb or adjective? Afraid is what? Afraid of snake. No, no, the word in grammar is a noun or adjective or adverb or verb or noun or... No, I don't know, maybe. To be afraid. Be afraid. Noun? No, verb. Noun is a fear. Yeah, a verb. Yeah, you do. 
You do afraid of something, yes. Fear is the noun, Vivian. Fear is the noun. You have fear, see? Your fear is unfounded. What means unfounded? Like, like you can't find fear. No need to be. There's no fear. You should not have fears. It's unfounded. So no need to be afraid. And don't be a wimp. Did you write down wimp? You're such a wimp. Mm -hmm. Did you write down wimp? Okay, uh, okay, this one. Next one. Next one. My friend mocks you about something you sent her. What? Oh. 